in a way the torture victim's own body is rendered his worst enemy. It is corporeal agony that compels the sufferer to mutate, his identity to fragment, his ideals and principles to crumble in the face of inexorable pain. The body becomes an accomplice of the tormentor, an uninterruptible channel of communication, a treasonous poison territory. The body fosters a humiliating dependency of the abused on the perpetrator. Bodily needs denied, sleep, toilet, food, water, are wrongly perceived by the victim as the direct causes of his degradation and dehumanization. As the victim sees it, he is rendered bestial not by the sadistic bullies around him, but by his own flesh.